Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the formula tool, doing a deep dive on date time functions, and walking through some examples of how we can use date time functions in Alteryx. Some of the functions have multiple components, and some of them don't have any components to the function at all. So we'll walk through some different examples, starting here with date time diff, which allows us to take two fields with date time objects and calculate the uh, amount of time that has elapsed between the two in any unit that we'd like. So the first component is dt1, which is a date time field, and this function actually starts with the end date. So think of it like a subtraction problem. End date minus start date equals the amount of time, and we want to express that in days or months or maybe minutes or seconds. Yeah, and if you were to switch that, you'd get a negative number. That's right. So sometimes the, the output from the, the date time functions can be a little challenging to interpret, but as you work through the components of the expression, you'll make it work for your data set. So we're going to work with the formula tool available from the favorites bar or the preparation category or the search bar. And uh, remember, if you ever run into any trouble in Alteryx, you can always search and you'll get results from both Alteryx Help and the community. Here we're going to reference Alteryx Help, um, particularly looking at the date time specifiers. There is a whole list of specifiers depending on what you need, whether you need a full month name, an abbreviated month name, um, and you can use these specifiers to build your date time formulas. Uh, the date time format if you want to change the format of a date or date time parse. Very, very useful um, page there. Definitely look it up. Thanks, Blake. So we're going to look at a couple of date time functions with a sample data set that just has 10 start dates and end dates from uh, the 2000s, I suppose. So as always with the formula tool, first we need to determine if we're going to create a new field or operate on an existing field. And the first function I want to show you is called date time now. So we're going to create a field called today, and then the f of x function listing. Let's scroll down to our date time category. And this is going to return the current date and time. And notice inside the parentheses of the function, we're not prompted to add a string field or a date time field. There's nothing, so we don't have to add anything. Now, if we were to format this as a data type time, it's going to return the current system time when we run the workflow. If I change that data type to a date, it's going to return the date in the military format that Alteryx uses for its dates. So today is January 29 of 2020. Let's add another column called days, and in this field, column, we're going to calculate the number of days that have elapsed between the end date and the start date. So if I start typing the word date, it's going to show me a listing of all of our date time functions. And third on the list here, date time diff. We have three components to the function, dt1, dt2, and u for units. We love the flexible nature of the syntax in Alteryx, so I'm going to use the enter key and break each of these three pieces onto a new line. I'm going to use the double slash to add comments, to remind myself and maybe educate my, my boss Blake here how this function is operating, what the different components are. Thanks, Aaron. So first we're going to start with DT1, which is the ending date, or the later date in the data set. DT2 we're going to replace with our starting date. And then lastly, the U will specify the units we're interested in. So we will first select end date to replace dt1. Typing the open bracket, we can see our function listing and pick the start date for dt2. And then typing in the word days inside of quotes, we're teaching all tricks that we're interested in the number of days that have elapsed. And the data type, we can select a numeric field because our result is a number. So because we have two expressions in this formula tool, creating two new fields, we go from three fields to five fields. But if we're interested in calculating the number of days from today, 
We could do this as a two-part function. So I've replaced ending date with today. But we could also nest one date time function inside of the other. So if I kill off the first formula reference, I can actually replace the today field reference with our date time now function. So we have a function within a function calculating the number of days between today, the system time when we recorded the video, and the start date. This is a great way to build a dynamic solution that you don't have to be updating over and over again. And if we're more interested in the number of seconds that have elapsed, we can change our units. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.